I'm gonna keep it super short today. No chit chat, no jokes. I mean, I'll try, I'll do my best. Um, I'm gonna show you how to install LUTs in DaVinci Resolve 17 and also how to avoid a big mistake that I see a lot of beginners make when using LUTs to color grade their footage. And I made the same mistake when I started making videos. So first of all, how to install LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. Now, there are probably different ways to do it and I don't know if my way is the best way, but it works for me and it's super easy. So let me show you. You can find the LUTs in the color tab and then up here, there's a button LUTs. That's it. These are all the LUTs that are installed. Now, how do you install LUTs? Well, it's super simple. Right click on any LUT here reveal in finder and boom this is the folder that contains all the LUTs so if you want to install new LUTs just create a new subfolder and drop the files in there usually those files are .cube files I'm not 100% sure how it works on a Windows computer but I mean it can be that different right um, okay and once you've dropped your files in a folder right click here on the top folder and hit refresh that's it here is the new folder that I just created. So installing LUTs is super easy, but we're not done yet because now you need to know how to properly use LUTs. So you start by selecting your video clip or adjustment clip that's laying on top of a video clip, then go to the color tab and pick a LUT. That's it, except that's not it. Because if you do it like this, then you might run into some problems and you really want to avoid those problems. It might happen that, for example, after applying a LUT, the highlights are clipped. It happens sometimes because, you know, a LUT doesn't know how you exposed your image or what the image looks like. Or maybe you're using a LUT that just raises the highlights too much for your footage. I don't know, it might happen for different reasons. But anyway, and then you're like, oh, no problem. I'll add another node, a second node, and I'll lower the highlights. But here in the scopes, you can clearly see now that all that highlight information is permanently gone, clipped. But the thing is, you are 100% sure that you exposed your image correctly and that all that information should be there. And you're probably right. So what you should do instead of adding a second node after the LUT, add a node before the LUT. And in that node, you can lower the highlights and see, all that information is still there. So if you apply a LUT, always have a node before that LUT. And that extra node before the LUT will allow you to bring back any detail and information that might get lost when applying the LUT. So if you want to keep it simple and color grade with LUTs, that's totally fine. You know, it's easy, it's fast, but if it doesn't look right, make sure that you add a node before the LUT to make those basic corrections to contrast, highlights, shadows. If you do it after the LUT, then you might not be able to bring back those details. Wow, this was a really short video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.